we were working out in my backyard and he was wearing my ass out, man. And I sat down on the wall and I said, man, I'm struggling today, this is hard. And my trainer's a younger guy. And he said, what do you mean? I said, man, this workout is hard. He said, no, nah, man, this is hard. He said, how you came from a poor kid in the projects to this house you got in this neighborhood and the TV star, he said, that's hard. And I had to catch myself because working out ain't near as hard as the struggle to get where you want. And everybody in this room wants two things. Everybody wants to be successful and everybody want to be happy. I'm going to tell you something about that, that that happiness and success is available for every last one of you. But I'm going to tell you what you're going to have to do. You're going to change your mindset. If you're planning on being successful, you have to change this here. The difference between successful people and non-successful people is right here. It ain't no difference. It ain't none. I ain't got no more than none of y'all got. God gave me the same thing he gave y'all. God loved me the same as he loved all y'all. He don't love me more than he loved you. But you have got to change your mindset. You got to get funky if you want to be successful. If you think that they're going to mail this money to your house, you're dead wrong about that. If you think they're going to pave the way for you and make it easy, you're dead wrong about that. If you want to be successful, you got to change your mind and you're going to have to have some faith. If you ain't got no faith, if you ain't got no relationship with God, you finna make this thing way harder than it's got to be. You gonna be successful without God? Let me ask you something, how that's working out for you. I am here to tell you that you can come from nothing and become something, but you gonna have to have God. Now you can come up with another way, but there ain't a book out there on the market how to make it without God. It's a thousand books about faith and how to make it with God. You're not going to make it without him. You can short circuit your ticket by just putting some faith in God. The two most important days of your life is the day you're born and the day you discover why. All you have to do is uncover this gift that God gave you at birth the one that he created in every living soul. He never created a person that he didn't give a gift to. All you got to do is uncover that gift that he gave you and start using it. Let me tell you something a guy told me one time. He said, uh, Steve, I had a job. He said, if you want to see how your life going to be, he said, I want you to follow your boss home one day. I didn't think nothing of it. He said, see what he's driving, see the house he's living in, and see who greeted him at the door. So it took me about six months and I was thinking about it. I decided to follow my boss home one day. I really did this. So I got out and I just sat in the parking lot. He worked late, I just waited. We started driving home. The car he was driving was not the car I dreamed of owning. Then he pulled up in front of the house and the house he pulled up in front of was not the house that I was dreaming of owning. And then his wife came to the door and when she came to the door, that damn show wasn't who I was dreaming opening up the door for me every day. And he told me, he said, you will never make more money than your boss makes. So if that's the car he driving, that's the car you're going to be able to get. If that's the car he, house he live in, that's the house you'll be living in. And if that's who greeted him at the door, that's pretty much the chick you're going to get. After, I would, I could have, I could have dealt with the car. I could have dealt with the house. You have got to make some decisions in your life. But you got to tie it to this gift. Your gift is the thing that you do the absolute best with the least amount of effort. That's your God-given gift. He didn't hide it from you. He didn't put it under the rocks. He didn't hide it in the ocean. It, it ain't under, it, it, you don't need no map to find it. God put it right here when he made you. 